Okay, Famulem. Um, I bring warm greetings, very warm greetings from the then and now media empire. Today, the 19th of December, just six days shy of Christmas 2021. Me now on a host and presenter, Prince Emil Komare Kamtuna, live from the United Kingdom. On a very, very important subject where they trend and has been trending for almost two weeks now. Um, we still let try forget we guest, Mecca de Wanuna. Um, we they get some problem with the guest. Not sure whether the guest will turn up, but notwithstanding, I will try to make the show very short, precise, and to the point. So, Una, come along with me, please, if you will. Um, I tell um, the music thank you, because it's absolutely necessary for warm up the floor before we actually they get into waiting we want for talk. Now I ask Una for if we can kindly, kindly be kind enough for share. So at least the number will grow. We number don't they grow again this BNTM. So we we'll want to make sure say we, we keep them consistent if we can. And we can only do so with Una help. So anyway, I'll go straight to the, um, um, the issue. Um, just the day, um, a few days ago, we get the first part because it's not the second part with a gentleman with um, if you mean to talk about, he spent over seven years there, grew, went through the ranks, and spoke even the talk about. Even talk about. So we talk a lot on that day for try for bring information to Una Fambulem regarding none else but the midterm census where President Julius Madabio put na the people ahead. We not seem for the go well at all. Okay, I think now in the joint. So that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, just a few days ago, we talked about this midterm census. We not seem for the go well. And um, we're talking with a very professional guy. We're talking with a very professional guy. You want to pardon me just to look for something quickly. With a very professional guy. And um, this guy turned out for knowing stuff we, we did talk about. It turned out for knowing stuff we, we did talk about. Luckily for we, if don't join the program or just to get the signal, say don't join the program. So we should be bringing him live very, very soon. So on a lot of ship. And in fact, in fact, I'm excited for Havam because this is now the second part of a two-part interview. We've been talking about the nature of um, the professionalism around Sensor Sierra Leone. We go talk a lot about him today, but we go also insinuate, we go also presume, speculate on a few things providing the circumstances as well. So on allow we keep the feet tight. Let me just continue with um, um, King Jimmy. Now just for one minute, please. <laughs> Okay, like I said, I've been just want to warm up the floor a little bit more. 
let me see whether the man don't join. Of course, he did send me, he did request access, where I believe they are provided just now. Um, he did send me access. Mr. Bori, are you there? Let me see whether the man don't join. Of course, he did send me, he did request access, where I believe they are provided just now. Um, he did send me access. Mr. Bori, are you there? Okay, so I think see, we did get small technical difficulty, but notwithstanding, we will try for bring the brother anyhow. We definitely get for try and bring the brother anyhow. Okay, we definitely get for try and bring the brother anyhow. We did get small technical, but notwithstanding, we will try for bring the brother anyhow. We definitely get for try and bring the brother anyhow. So this okay. back this back blast need for stop. Yes, indeed, we need to stop. Okay. So, formula. Here we are today, the nineteenth of um, the nineteenth of December, twenty twenty one. We want to talk about the midterm census. So, let's begin with more than I want them before again. Maybe you man go try again, but I know say he is trying to join the program. We we'll see what happens. So. Some time ago, we know say the president intimate in feeling in idea as to a midterm census that he want for conduct a midterm census. The term midterm census mean half, and because now every ten year we can conduct census naturally every ten years. So if you get for do midterm census or census for some reason before the ten year period then it's obviously um, get for be a midterm census. From the one, this census now seem for the go quite well for a variety of reasons, a variety of reasons. So there are procedures around um, census and now I make the call on the people census, even the current government, again, the right name, the people's census, just that this will not seem for be the people's census because the people's census, now the people and I then get for count. People are happy, people are excited because they know what he mean for country because the natural thing them, we government they generate in terms of money, funding, facilities, amenities, benefits, and et cetera, will be yours. It will be yours in many respects. Um, Amadou, did you get me? It will be yours in many respects. Um, Amadou? Okay. So the brother tried for join again. I don't know what, in, what exactly is going on, but we go continue for the provide a background. So, like I said, now the background has been the provider some time ago. President Julius Madabio decided for initiate a midterm census. I go play a video where we show the campaign during the time where them in the campaign where President Biosef acknowledged say now that data they now he go use and which of course he used from the very beginning in terms of school picking them, the number of school picking them, and therefore I get for a portion whatever developmental goals you want to take to these people, whether not school picking them, whether not chiefdom, whether not section level, whether not district level, and all of these levels, you get forget a census, you get forget the numbers then they so that you will proportionately share the wealth of the country. Hello? So everybody will be affected. Yeah. So you hear me uh -huh. now? You hear me now? Yeah, yeah, loud and clear. Loud and clear. Yes, Major Luno. Okay, me to hear you very loud and clear. Brilliant. You just got through. So exactly. um, um, very exciting times. The guest just joined. The guest just joined. So um we will move forward. That's our guest there. He just we just get a brief glimpse of him. In photograph, but like I say, I mean, just to talk about the census. So the president don't introduce this, he don't sign the bill, and effectively, there should be a census ongoing. But it seems like um, um, we don't get procedural problem. Then we always seem for be the Achilles heel of this particular government in terms of procedure. When they say consult, then get a different meaning to consultation. 
And in this particular process, there are many other bodies them we supposed to be involved in this process. Hence why they call on the people census and for bring credibility to the exercise. Every uh, uh, organization, not every, but most um, um, organizations, such as the CSOs, such as the religious um, um, body them, such as the Sierra Leone Teachers Union and many others are supposed to be a part and parcel of this process so that the process, it carry, you know, the grave enormity we deserve and uh, people that will be convinced because there are many other people that we involved. Unfortunately, this is not the case and these are things that we're going to be talking to our guests um, tonight about. So for bringing on a fast up to where we are, this thing started um, on the 9th. On the ninth, like where we can get something what we call watch that's now a country. That means the eve before the exercise itself was the ninth. Okay. And um, I want for let me see if we get the eve of um on the ninth, which means that the following day, which happened for be the 10th of December, now in the official, the official counting of the midterm census as promulgated by the president, the parliament, supposed for go on. Unfortunately, we they see different uh, uh, things um, going. And that member said the process, it get ended, you know, on the 23rd of December, I believe, is supposed to come to an end. And now we they see Boku Boku problems, them, we make the thing no get no credibility at all. The counting process, they go on, but the way our normal, our normal census counting process will go on, this is devoid of it altogether and is such an eyesore for see waiting they go on as some communities, sometimes costs, sometimes fed, sometimes ala ala, because not everybody is on board with the census. And yet with the understanding that they go ahead with them, with some people not being counted, some communities not being counted. How all of this therefore come to an end is something where we just go help for understand at some point. So, ladies and gentlemen, today. Again, the man is not strange. He's back. He's back in the then and now. And uh, the last time he was here was part one. We talk about the professional side. We'll continue to talk about the professional side. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome Mr. Amadou Bori. Amadou Bori, welcome to the then and now for the second time, please. All right, Mr. Prince Koma. I want to appreciate you so much. I hope you get me. Loud and clear, will they get you loud? All right. I want to appreciate you so much, Mr. Prince. Yeah. And I want to extend my greeting out there to the Republic of Sierra Leone and also extend my greeting to the entire world, listeners. Me, of course, me and Amadou Bori again. Adia, this night, of course, we'll do the census part two. <laughs> yep. Media program, we, of course, we, um, Mr. Prince Kuma introduced. Uh, I remember last week, Sunday, I'll be there up in the media again at the same time. At first, I just want to apologize to the public because actually, I feel say people that don't get you online by nine o'clock sharp as usual. But uh, due to the bad network that we country, and uh, actually, we just said, you don't say, first of all, I claim, I claim step a little bit for my able to get to that privacy, at least for getting and, um, the actual playing ground so I'll be able to discuss something very important about the country. So I want to extend my greeting to Una all listeners, Texas, and all the rest. I tell Una thank you once again. Wonderful. Many, many thanks um, for that. And fam would endure una there's an obligation on we part, a civic responsibility on we part, because this is quite important. This man who they talk so to so is an expert, is a professional in this business who they talk about. Seven years of service to nation, seven years. In that seven years, he rose through the ranks. So, you know, definitely in stuff we talk about. Um, just for go straight to the point, um, Mr. Bori. Um, before census, they happen, something first need for happen, or there's a process we need for happen. You don't mind for take me through that process there, because what I want for let me do in this effect, now for compare and contrast, 2015 or 2004 to 2021. So that Fambul and self go go along with we on this journey and understand where we were and where we are and where we're heading. So before the census, the first take place, what do you need for happen as a matter of process and procedure? All right. Uh, my lovely people there, I just want to extend my greeting once more. Um, I just want to take one or two very quickly. 
the meet the census in every country in the counting process, we every county get the right for able undertake. And where you do this counting, particularly, you get to capture the total number of population living in every each country. Specifically, we get to deal with the region. Specifically, we get to deal with the districts, chiefdoms, sections, and localities where normally we can call villages. So we get to deal with all those aspects. And census, to be specific, get a lot of areas where they capture. Because when we talk about census, we not only classify for be census alone, but we classify we the classify for be a national census. A national census for Tese get all aspects and all sectors of life where they deal with. That for Tese, every picking where they born today, it is the right for him or her to be counted. Hence, you don't live in Sierra Leone, you don't exist in Sierra Leone. It is the right for you to be counted, and it is important because. It creates a nation world development. It creates a nation world awareness. And if you fail to be counted, it means you the try to decrease the number in the aspect of any development with the Canada, this country. So it is a matter of most. But for taking that through the processes, where, of course, statistics are alone for the observe, for do a particular census in this country by virtue of the positions during the past 2015 census. When one do census in this country, generally, and we follow directly the instruments, when are the constitutional two, when, of course, the act produced 2002 by the then government, when Al Haji Tijan Kaba, the late man, when this two was introduced, then no, actually, we get the constitutional two from the, the constitution of Sierra Leone, then we also get statistics as an institution, then get the your instrument, when are the own constitution. All the work in line. There are all the differences we are in, and the statistics get in your mandate for look at the checks and balances to know exactly if whether this thing where you say the president don't introduce, it is possible for us to deal with it. Are we looking at the professional aspect of it? Because we are there serving as an independent body. We should not be looking at political win. We should not be looking at individual win, but we should look at the national nationalistic point of view. Because when one person is failed to be counted, it means that particular data has become interrupted totally entirely. So it is the right of every civilian to be well captured. So what do we mean about this? When we want to introduce census nationwide, it is our right at force for present the, the, the instrument. And this instrument that should be produced, one should be made, the pronouncement should be made by the president when it is timely, because generally, the people of Sierra Leone already been on the news. Census is a process of 10 years, which of course, after every 10 years, we as Sierra Leoneans must be counted. We also get a procedure again, we will not see, an election is always five years. When it is five years, Sierra Leoneans should be counted. But the constitution also give mandate to the president of this of Sierra Leone, see, a girl right for call on census at any point in time. But when you want to do this, what do we expect? It is your right to take the challenge and take the lead for involve an inclusion win for call all political parties, for call all civil activists, for call all local authorities, all people that are stakeholders who are who should be involved into this particular deal, then get for Shidom, then discuss them well. And with this line, immediately, if the buy up the idea, immediately as a president of a good listening wing, it is your right immediately for just say, okay, since we all accept, it is our right to go into it. It is not of a problem we are in, but make you see the past government, for example, during the 2002 act, when are the area I understand, say and say, the, the APC regime, sorry, I'm not a politician, but I'm just bringing the, the, the direct point, for say exactly, and uh, the APC, we are the people that endorse that if somebody fails to be counted, it means this individual should be arrested. But one key to our mark, we know, mm -hmm. when this particular instrument is penned down and it follows the structures about how national census will commence, it is the right for every political party for endorse and even sign in, say, anybody who fails to be counted should be arrested. It is sure. 
whenever we follow the due processes and the structure of what census entails. That is one. And secondly, when the instrument has been prepared, it is the right for us to take the document from statistics value, present it to, 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 to parliament, and parliament look at it and debate on it, agree if it, whether it is necessary for the census to commence. Then when they agree, our first step process is what we call the mapping process. The mapping process we get for use in some tool called the geomapping system. The geomapping system, and I'm sorry for the bigger term, I don't familiar <laughs> to one now. The geomapping system is purely about <coughs> us capturing every localities, wherever human being, I mean living human being are dwelling and also existing in that particular region, in that particular district, in that particular chiefdom section, and also smaller portions like the localities or the EA, as you usually call it in statistics value, which are the enumeration area. Hence, human beings are living in those particular areas. It is a right for statistics value for capture everybody, no matter the distances, because with 2015 census, we get what we call GPS, we are the geographical process system. This machine is a tool we are in. If I did salon now, for example, if Mr. Prince Kumar send me, say, Mr. Bori, I want you to go to Kono. And when you go to Kono, I need you directly at the clock tower. But Mr. Prince Kumar not get anything where he say, go even know if whether I reach at that portion. Because you not get the, 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 the microscope, where, of course, he go use for C, say, my use as a lens, for example, whether this man is to that, that point, or is not within a globe for able to study this particular vision. What thing they get for do? They get for get a system base. We have got this system from collecting the GPS coordinates of that particular point of the clock tower at Kono. Immediately, when I sync that data, I don't send them in, and get for slaughter down to a machine. And when you slaughter to a machine, immediately it will fall at the point of Kono. Say, yes, this man went there and know the location immediately. It don't show, say, this man is a quality workman. He know exactly in point the way they go and don't miss out any side. So those were the challenges that we took 2013 when we do the mapping process. And when we did this, immediately no localities were left out. And at that point in time, the individual that was in control of the censuses and geographical information system unit was Andrew Bob Johnny. This man, Presently, he is in the, the present man that is presently conducting this 2021 census, the midterm census. But remember, the 2015 census, he was in charge of the cartographic mapping system and also the in charge individual for the population housing census 2015. He produced the boundary delimitation, he produced the actual number, he produced the total population living in this country, and he knew everything. For taking a true, after the mapping process, we immediately had to produce the base maps. And these base, base maps are there we are in, we do segmentation for divide these areas, the regions, the chiefdom, the sections into smaller portions. Because why are we, are we dividing it into smaller portions? It is because we don't expect one great person for go count the whole of Kenema. It is not possible. Let's understand it that Kenema is subdivided into various categories from region, from a district, from chiefdom, from section, and also villages, you understand? So we have to divide it under the cartographic mapping aspect for make sure, say, these areas have been segmented into different, different portions. And how do we segment it under the mapping, the cartography aspect? With a segmentum based on households. The household council will do, that we are in, with a look at a range of 80 to 120 as a limit. And that limit from 80 to 120 as a limit of the consider, we always get to make sure, say, for example, we are not looking, the mapping process is not capturing the total number of people that are living in that whole village. No, we are just looking out for people that are responsible, people that are feeding people to those spots or those houses or those structures, you understand? So we have the right to capture those people immediately at 80 and 120 as a household. So that 80 to 120 is the threshold we are in, we will allow a particular enumerator and as a guide for make this enumerator take them as a tool for make sure so you go capture them people immediately. 
So when wow. we don't do this, we get to get what we call a base map process. That base map, now they exactly, we get for the watch. Because that base map, now a guiding tool. And we also attach what we call a description process. That description, if you know Sabi read map, you know to a cartographer. Because usually, one, one prominent one, I want to take note of uh, the world and Sierra Leone at large. I'm not going to understand the 2015 census was purely, purely administered by, 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 by teachers because usually we can involve the SLTU, Sierra Leone Teachers Union. And even the president of Sierra Leone Teachers Union was also there as the head and he also get a body. We are in, we get a task. And it's a right for us to also incorporate people of universities third year and final year. You understand? We involve them because they knew and they have the understanding. They also got the know-how. We don't just go take class six picking them. I'm not saying is the it, it, I don't say not so it ever happen. No, 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 no. I don't want to reach that part. But just to explain exactly the quality of 2015 census. We are in, we make sure we involve teachers into the system. They went out there to make them able to collect this information. When we don't do the mapping process totally entirely, we try to produce this base map immediately. We get what we call the pilot census. The pilot census is about the, 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 the questionnaire. When we don't develop the questionnaire, and the questionnaire is a bulky tool. Well, like we get eight sectors. The eight sectors, I may just identify a few for make Sierra Leone know. We get categories, will be the capture, like the health sectors. The health sectors, we want to know about immunization. We want to know about early, early, uh, uh, the, the, the child birth. We get a lot of things that we will look within the health sectors. We get yeah. information like that with the capture. They will also get areas of the agriculture, the farming system, how exactly Sierra Leoneans are surviving, <coughs> in which categories, in which A, B, C, D, what not a sustainable yeah. way, way they get food, all in the world, they watch at them. We get all the various sectors, various just ministries. A, just, a, just a quick one, just a quick one. Because you almost did deal with the entire subject matter without me asking that is the it, next it, question. It gets a long process. It really yeah, which long shows process. which shows Fambule, which show how vast the brother is in this particular conversation that we get in tonight. So it's just a short, short one. You know, yeah, yeah. For example, we talk about the pilot process. So once we don't get our pilot process done, it goes to parliament, right? Yeah, yes, from the pilot process, we need to take the pilot document because we'd already ascertain and certify. We need to take them directly to parliament. Parliament get for watch and say, okay, this questionnaires, now we don't agree, but they will see people that respond to them is not favorable. For example, the Kenema people not respond to this question the way they expect. So it is a right for parliament for send back the two to statistics value for quell in the questions because we want to ask questions that go down the drain. Because there are some people they find it very difficult when they ask certain questions. So we need to rectify that question for Quella into a little bit, where, of course, the people will be then will answerable to them very easily as possible. So when this is done, we get to take these two back to parliament. We get for BLAM. We get a whole book on a whole module. When our the, when our pilot survey, we don't conduct for the census. You understand? When parliament get this, then get the audacity now also for give it the go ahead as statistics rally for go ahead with the enumeration processes about the national census. So there comes the national census for real. When we come to national census, we get 14 days introduced when a two weeks process. But before they come to the two weeks process, we get what we call the pilot phase. You understand? When are the, the pilot phase, we are in, when are the census nights? The census night for capture the float population. The float population are people exactly we think, one, the prostitutes that are living on the streets, do not get a house. <laughs> You okay, uh, uh, that's a good that's a good one. Uh, everybody's been counted. We did come back to that, but I'll be just one care you go back a little bit because already you don't explain so it seems like quite an exhaustive process. Exactly. The question to you is yeah, how long does it take all of that process from the very beginning for train una bring una up to speed and carry out the exercise they are they feel? How long does it does all of this take? Well, 2015 census what we do. All the processes, believe me, almost one year, three months for pronounce the final result. Because we don't just get to pronounce final result, we they present a draft result of the, the, the census. The draft result get to leave it to the, the finalized result of census. So it get to take we one year, some months 
We, of course, 2015, we did the census, but 2016 was the actual day. You understand? The actual year when the final result of census 2015 was announced. So it gets yeah, a bonus. very huge processes. You understand? Yeah. So, um, um, Mo, uh, uh, Amadou, uh, thank you for that. So, even on a midterm census, does it require that lengthy and exhaustive process itself, bearing in mind that most of the people learned that were trained a couple of years back with all of that experience, over 50% mm -hmm. of them then get rid of them. So, mostly in a new personnel, then when they come back to the picture, then when they were in the field, the numerator them, then get for train them all over again. So, now the same time, now the same time that thing they get for take. Or no, no, lesser no. time because now midterm. How does it work? No, 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 no. Whenever we talk about midterm, if then they say midterm, they put on the they put on the term and for be a review process. A review process, not for lead them for capture the whole Sierra Leone. They get a specific location where they are in. Then go say, okay, no, we get some abnormality. Then I have something they will come now. Will not be satisfied with all these things. They are brought in the midterm. Saying at least one do for do rectifications or for make some corrections. But for go in the world, say, we want to do mid. There is no simple census. Then they will make them forget it. There is no simple census. We're not get short time census in this country. It's not possible because every civil union needs to be counted and all questions, questions and responses needed. People that need to respond to those questions. You know, we we'll just go no more today. It, we get what to call back up. You understand? We get what to call back up and call back. We are in, if I don't go now, for example, I don't meet Mr. Prince. Now you host. Now my right for go back. And I need to pay three, three, three. Uh, I, I need to visit. go there three times. Yeah. I need to make a three visits. You understand? If I make first visit, I don't succeed. I get for go there for the second time. If I don't succeed, they make it third time. I have to report immediately to my supervisor. Say, hey, I don't go, I don't meet this man. Who. Immediately, he go tell me the next procedure waiting for do. You understand? So it can yeah. take a lengthy processes. For men and just tell with a midterm census, will be just arranged within three months, within four months. No, no, no. No yeah, matter exactly. I'll budget and carry it. No, 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 not possible. <laughs> so that's mm. exactly my point. That's exactly my point, brother. And if I know we talk to a professional like you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Den and Now Media platform. This evening, we get a very special guest when a specialist in um, um, census. He's a former statistician. Um, statistics Sierra Leone, and it's none other about Mr. Amadou um, Bori, where they help with for understanding the intro to about how sensors they work. And we get a few critical questions for, for Ram. And he's not disappointed us thus far, but I just recognize a few people and quickly, Mr. Usman Esuma, we don't have to wait for de deviance. If you don't participate in the North, now we're lost. Usa, you come up with that idea there, Mr. Suma. I'm sure say you go one for every citizen for being a part and parcel of the program. If they are not part and parcel of the program, then that means your program is not credible. That's why government, they strain for get people them for make sure say they come them. Don't you understand that? That's simple, brother. Come on. Lamzo D, hi. Hello, Lamzo D, how are you? We don't have to wait for deviants. <laughs> Alhaji Fula, go on then and why the rush? Um, Junior Cabo, you are talking so much sense, brother. I just wonder why people like you are not incorporated info, are not incorporated into the so-called census, okay? Yeah. Um, Mohamed Kamara, good analysis by Mr. Amadou, Frederica, Crispina, Johnson, Usman Conte, and eight others are watching, Mohamed Bangura, blah, blah, blah. Yusuf Fofana, thanks, Mr. Kroma. Thank you very much, Mr. Fofana. Um, Isaka Bangura, Abraham Kamara, Abraham Kamara, and a few others. Thank you so much, brother. So from what you just say, um, in terms of a midterm census, there should have been a review in the place of a midterm census, not a midterm census. And if that's the case, then um, we can certainly say that um, something is just not right. We can't name it, but it's not right. How you see the procedure and processes so far? No, no, no. For me, the procedure is very, very embarrassing as a statistician and uh, also a beloved Sierra Leonean and a patriotic Sierra Leonean. I see the situation is very embarrassing for me because um, I don't go and dream and fit for any other person, but for me to look at the country and benefit exactly, you understand? And uh, we are actually expecting, if since we don't see other political parties, we don't see other partners, them, they don't say, no, we, we are not going to be part of it. So we actually be the expect, say, oh, about government, they don't say, oh, you know what it mean? They say, if you fail to measure it, you cannot count it. That's our slogan. You understand? If you fail to measure it, a statistics value, I think Uda know, you know exactly what they say. If you fail to measure it, you cannot count it. That 
to say, if you don't know how many cup of rice, how many people you get now, you don't know how many cup of rice or police for them. So yeah. if the people are rejecting this midterm census, I will actually be the expect from a statistical point of view, say, oh, Papa government, okay, come back, call them. It is your right. Papa government, yeah. okay, right for call anybody, you know, come. Now lie. Make you just invite the other parties. Make and call address them people and grievance. Yeah, address them. Yes, yeah. exactly. Call them, discuss with them. Then immediately you go able to say, okay, now on this level, I'm going to take, more take this approach. Trust me, they're not going to debunk. You understand? It's not the right. They're not going to do themselves. But you can explain something to them. Make them say, say okay, it is necessary. This now, this way we go. You understand? It's just that I'm, um, and uh, it's a pity to the present people that are statistics value. They never play with the language. You know, we get statistical languages the way you say you play with. When you play with, I'm not all man understand. Like your field of study as journalism, which is sabi, me not all just sabi, but um, you understand? When you want to convince me immediately, you must get young and uh, journalism term the way you go use. You understand? If there yeah. be name, I'm saying we want to do a review processes immediately. We're gonna understand. So okay, this is not a review. And we get what we call updating. And that updating, now we are in, if you don't take, for example, the changes that have been here just today, if I move in one inch, there should be another changes again for the next day. That the show say, I need to do a review because the information I can get, <coughs> if I can't do the next time, <coughs> not again, I must, I must expect the changes go there. So it is the right for make the able be a review processes for no exactly where are lapses. Because for make government take a very huge sum, Put on this national census in this country for capture everybody again at this country. I mean, meaningful. You understand? A meaningful. A sum like this for don't go now other sectors for make everybody understand. But now, if you see exactly, I did get some Roman by the corner. Some of the, the workers are able in a national cake. You know, that old man for eater. National cake, you know, so far for one. You know, so far for one, they yeah. just go eat her. You understand? You can't do that. I told the pity the country because even me, as I'm sitting here, I have not been counted. You know, I'm not, they're not coming to me. Not the talk about me or area. So that means your community has not been counted yet. And so the uh, whole community have not have been observing the processes. Wow. I observe the process, not to like for say at the time for the but no, 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 no. If they succeed in it, to me, God, I have no problem about it. It's about Sierra Leone development. Like seriously. But if people are not participating, it's a pity to us as a nation. Because let's assume we don't get like uh, 2015, they say we have 7 million plus population. And now, if this midterm census can produce it, and now we have 5 million population. So who is fooling who? Who is fooling who in Sierra Leone? So tomorrow, it will even be a lapsus and a big blow to all the politicians. It means they are just playing on Sierra Leoneans as if we don't understand what they do. So many avoid all these things. Whenever we want to do anything in this country as politicians, let's involve politics of inclusion. Politics of inclusion. We all go okay. sit down, we discuss, and we know what to do. Because now for the country in future and the country in better one. Okay, Mr. Bori, um, many thanks. I just want to bring you come back to some technical sides. And okay. with this one, I just want to let you touch on them quickly for 30 seconds because the technical terms, the Mboku, well, by now, most of we don't come for understand what they are and what they mean. But for the benefit of we uh, viewer them, what in our EA, what in our SAs, and enumerate <laughs> all them and what in them they do. <laughs> Mix and box up and for we buy and give me balance. Okay, one. okay, no, okay. No, I know I'm box up. I'm put on my lay and down straight so they okay. understand. If okay. I box up and no go kick up here, so more do I stop this damn fool. Actually, we get a structure built whenever we want to conduct a census. We get um, uh, what we call DCU, we are district census officers. They yeah. are in charge of uh, uh, exactly for observe all the census processes. Now, the whole district down to the village, when are the DCU, they should be employed. They will also get a field officers. You understand when are the FO? The field officers exactly. Then they for the supervise the supervisors them. The supervisors they for supervise the enumerators. The enumerators are the smaller means people exactly who send who have been sent to the field. When then smaller portion they who don't cut. When then they go count people them. Now then we call enumeration. But EA means enumeration area. There are areas that are exactly of existing people. When they leave, no matter who that you be in that particular community, they are like you small, you big, you this, then get right for capture you. And I like you not get sense because get area of abnormality where busy are like you grace, then get right for know exactly the situation of this person. This person is disabled, a blind, is this, is that, now the right of the enumerator for capture all this information. And it's a bulky, bulky questionnaire. The SA are supervisors area. 
and I'm going to know say we get like 23,784 enumeration area being produced by Statistics Sierra Leone. You understand? Out of these 23,784 enumeration being produced by, by, by Statistics Sierra Leone, only they employ about 15,000. So what happened to the other 8,000 and what's in that they mean? Well, that's the very big question. Because I just the wonder now. Is it that these people just want to cap? They have a specific area that they want to concentrate, or is it a national census, or they, are they about to capture everybody, or is just an individual census, or is just a survey? And okay. this national census, what they do, is not a random sampling. A random sampling, for example, I can kind of decide, say, my account, Mr. Prince, I left Mr. Bori, the account, Mr. Prince, in WEF. Me when I the picking that they jump me for because it's not a picking matter. You understand? But a national census in order to deal with any random sampling, a random sampling that will test a case. If whether this case or I'm present, if it was sustainable or it not was sustainable. But mm. national census is not about leaving anyone behind. So for understand, say, Nana, they say, I go under for go court, they lock the pub, the month before me, they don't <laughs> reopen. <laughs> <laughs> very, very okay, okay, then, Mr. Boy. The 2015 census was highly identified. We are in, they have their apron, ID card, they are out, all length in there, you understand? But now, even the census officers are very difficult to be detected. Absolutely. How can we detect them? And as some you of that there, <laughs> now some of that there, I want to ask you, it sounds funny, but really, this is not a fun because this is like a national census ah, now we talk about. So, <laughs> um, um, I know say you hear a book story from Usa Yudeso. And um, some of the story that I want to share with you, but one of them is there are rumors of supervisor them, you know, they switch position, you know, with enumerators. Is there any credence to that kind of story there? And if it's true, what does that mean for the whole process? What in that mean? All right. Um, um, maybe that's so statistics determine for make it be based on their own structure. You understand? Mm. But usually when you are a supervisor, the only Team way will make you come in because we can get back up. Statistics, when we do the enumeration processes, the census 2015, we we'll decide to get back up. These are people that participated on the training, but uh, obviously, yes, they perform also on the exam. But we we'll decide, okay, we're not going to take all man now because we'd already get the number one. But Una will set Una, say Una now for dinner at the bench. Una warm the bench. As soon as we get any lapses, we are in people, then get problem. We can take Una immediately for kind of replace. Because it can happen. We can get accident on the way. Enumer uh, enumerator can go, you feel sick. You understand? So those backup people can directly for can step in in that situation. But you are supervisor. You understand? I know say yes, you might be familiar to the two. For make the able training all aspects and all categories of the, the, the census process. I'm not seeing it for make them take you. Because you have your own rule. You're not a supervisor. You're not a technical man. You, your area for make sure, see, maybe then will give you like, Three to four uh, segmented areas see, can supervise now. Yeah. And they give five super, uh, enumerators. Those five enumerators for assigned to one EA. Everyone, yeah. one EA for one enumerators. Everyone EA for one enumerators. But no enumerators to five EA is wrong. No enumerators to two EAs. The only thing we can encourage, we are in, if somebody is more faster, we can say, okay, if you don't done your enumeration area within the period of two weeks, not one week, anybody that speed up the census job as a bulky questionnaire as it is, you speed up at within one week, it means that no job done. There is no alpha jet in that situation. I like a tablet to use. It's not possible because we have technical areas where we allow you for do probing. And probing is about asking more because sometimes the response given by this re uh, respondent was not that clear. So you they probe more for no inner mind, which exactly you expect. You are not forcing him to talk, but you get for probe deep in for making able to tell you more things because we have selected questions where you get for choose among or based on the responses where the person give you exactly. You understand? But okay. there is no right for enumerators for get two EA at the same time or supervisor for jump as supervisor position and come in. Perhaps yeah, maybe... yeah, but Mr. Mr. Bo Mr. Bori, could 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 possibly be because of what we will talk about earlier on. You gave me some figures in which you know the total number of people that I mean, they participate by the entire exercise 2015 2004 was almost 24,000 people. And in this case of the uh, midterm census, 
it was about 8,000 short. So if 8,000 short, you get for Kotia Putia, would that not be the case? No, no, no. Understand me clearly. I said statistics Sierra Leone created 24,000, not, to, not 2014. I'm not talking about 2015. I'm talking about this 2021. So make okay. me see no more exactly the, the doubt of what you exactly to do. If you <laughs> okay, have created, you yeah. fine. If you have created about 23,784 EAs, the expected and uh, the employment you should do should be exact to the number of EAs being created because we are not here allowing one enumerator to do two EA at the same time. Mm. Meaning, now I survey the game, not to censor survey, now I survey. A survey is a process that either lasts for one week, two months, three months, four months, and you not get ended. You understand? It left to yeah. you, they go about that. But this about census, it's about national issues. We don't get delaying them because we need the results at the at the point in time. So we're not they allow you as exactly for the on and day, you make everybody wiki. No, because the more you take within that community, it means you they exhaust the people they say. Because people has a lot to do. Not that you write to go put questionnaire before them, you spend more than three hours, four hours responding to only one respondent. Not to you write as enumerators. That is why we have timing. For example, if I don't come meet you, Mr. Prince, let me write for interviews and then the highest time that I should interview you for is just one hour. One hour, which is 60 seconds, completely. I will not make sure I do one because I never go beyond because I don't want to make the interview too boring. If I interview you more than one hour, I they make you become boring. At the end of the day, you're not going to, be able to respond to me the best way. So what do we do? We have what we call consent. And consent is about asking the individual responses. If the individual allow you to continue, you can forward. If you don't allow you to continue, you can tell us, okay, well, dear, this is not anything about politics, not about this, not about that. But when we reach there, we will cross this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we will talk to um, um, an expert, a professional in the field of statistics. And so far, I know those of whom are really watch and subsequently the viewers them will never be disappointed. I mean, the guy knows his stuff. He's breaking it down for every one of us, down to the elementary fashion, and we really do appreciate that. We will not forget tomorrow, Monday, we get the parliamentary, UK parliamentary expert, Sierra Leone parliamentary expert, vehicle and um, road safety expert, Mr. Victor Akomengot. We're going to talk about the Auditor General in report, we come out, that big, big wahala, we come out, where people and they act like say things are normal in the country. And they talk about government officials, things like that, and they wouldn't for address the nation because that's how serious. We will talk about that tomorrow soon. And don't forget for tuning, same station, same place, same time. Um, I want to go on again with some of the same talk there, Mr. Bori, we the on go, because there's a lot of it, and I know say the area a lot. There are also yeah. issues surrounding money. People are not being paid or part payment is being made to people. <laughs> so there's confusion all around there. What can don't forget about exactly waiting the go on waiting you there regarding payment of their workman there? Okay, we might just guide statistics, the present statistics small mm -hmm. on how 2015 payment go like. And uh, the chance of this year, one of the key rules now for making make sure the payment of that district. And you were the commodity as DC or DC census officer. You for be an indigenous of that district, and you should be highly recommended and recognized by the people of that district because you serve your district and you're familiar with the district. That now one. Then secondly, when the issue about payments come up, we they take them on here. We they make sure see we get we own finance man them. Where of course then they deal with all the DCOs them at district level. At first, the training allowance, we don't, uh, we, we don't, like, we don't give the allowance them. We don't make sure so they all get their own training allowance. Because the training allowance should not be delivered at the field. No, no, no. You know they give training allowance at the field. Training allowance should be given directly to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the people that went to the train, na 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 they, na they workshop them. After the training, you they give them the money there immediately. Because that alone, they eager them for make them do the work. But look mm -hmm. what they happen now. I don't they get series of audios them. They bobo then they grumble always. Then they talk, say, no, we train the allowance, they don't give we arm. You know, no hard feelings. We are preaching the truth about Sierra Leone. You understand? No, but me particular, I don't get problem with any government. 
You understand? Because I knew my expertise and I know exactly who said me they survive, me survive. When yeah. it is available this year, Alhamdulillah. When it is not available, I take God thank you back. One yeah. the life day, we must succeed in the future. So now, Statistics Sierra Leone, therefore they take the time and make sure see, the yeah. payment of these particular enumerators and all field workers should be arranged with immediate effect. Why? Because if you fail to give them what dues them, immediately they're not gonna ever correct, they're not gonna ever collect for you satisfied data. Yeah. And an, an angry man can do anything. Again, my go now, he cook that data there. I want her. Oh, you don't cook and do it. Count the steam one for you. Say more share. Then it get a it get a lot of headache and body to even the data cleaner because the data cleaner go there for that data and clean you one day. If you not take that pass, it take three to four months, pana. It go yagba because even the name. How should you spell Mohammed? Again, my go. I did spell Sanko instead of how na call her S. Again, my go write in Hindi. You understand? So these are all things. It could become very different. So we get the right for encouraging people. We are one and training allowance should be given to them as early as possible. Even their payments, you they give them about 50% of the money. You they pay them for 50%. So we did. We pay them for the 50% of the money then. As soon as we approach the end job of the process, we make sure they give them. And when you check, there is nobody 2050 where this year will say, I've not been paid. It mm -hmm. don't happen. You understand? It is about transparency because a data, when you want to get a good one, my brother, you get for always impress the field worker. And the yeah. field worker, it will take a very high risk, especially in the urban towns, especially in the interiors. You get for worker distance. You get for worker mile for go capture the information of those people. So mm. if you allow me, I don't pay me your physical when money in my pocket. I go on that side. At the end of the day, I don't get nothing. So I go, she don't let me, this gone to one. You know, it don't go work well, it don't go all go well. So it is very, very dangerous and pathetic for this country for understand, say, people have not been paid as enumerators, even their field allowance have not been paid. It's very, very challenging. No hard feelings, I'm just preaching the fact as a civilian, as a patriotic civilian, and we brought them. If they, they succeeded in this, believe it, now we all succeed. And I'm gonna say this out of grievance. I remember last, Mr. Prince, when I went to the radio with Emma Austin Johnny, he said, ah, but well, this man, he said, this man, I wait this gun to Nemec. Now wait a sucker, Nemec. No, it's not about this gun to Nemec. He said, this country, one good thing, another I Mr. Prince. Whenever yeah. you dare, you stand for the truth. This party picking and can always feel say, they are forever and for eternity. It is not about it. We are young, young men there now. We have the right to think Sierra Leone. And you understand what the president say? The president took and clearly, Jiros Marabio, the, our president, he said, if anybody uh, disappoints Sierra Leone, he said, trust me, he said, I will disappoint you people. And indeed. So that for sure, said, nobody knows for thing for disappointing Sierra Leone. We all yeah. forget our love, unity, and concern for each other. So anything where you do somebody, yeah, not allow the team for burn another call. If you do that, it means you interrupt the whole system. So those money that should be given to those enumerators, if they fail to give to them, believe it, I wonder. Which half data then will present into a correct order? Yeah, um, many, many thanks again. Um, with regard to Austin Johnny, the name we just mentioned, um, obviously, we'll come up with a program on them very soon. I don't know why the government they allow such a man, just the worker all over the place, and they make insightful statements, them threatening statements, them we get the potential, you know, here for Tonobo, the country. That's in the way they talk so because in na party and region and tribe they now in the talk. That's very, very wrong. And for don't pull her in by now, a man like that, not for the worker, you know, they talk all and talk the day, but we get for the highlight and soon. So people will come for understand. But all which you don't say, it's not um atypical of the billboard them that are dotted all over Freetown regarding this midterm census, calling uh -huh. it a people census. It's a far cry from a people census, isn't it? Yes, of course, because my own, but tell you one thing, my take it through again. Mm -hmm. Whenever billboard can speak by themselves, when educated people read them, yeah. you understand? Yeah. But when you watch a country like this, we're proud of with people, but like seriously, you get to go down the drain for you to preach to people there also. How can you do this? It is your right to also involve the stakeholders, the community, the community chiefs, and local chief, councillors, and all the rest. If them people I don't get the message exactly about census, they say they will help out for able to disseminate the messages. But this is the particular census. As soon as our president declines, 
immediately those are the time they then say grab say more begin publicize this business more begin telling say i send source tomorrow i send source today it should not be like that now process it with people we get for take with time we get for go down the drain we get for preach and tell people them we get for to get some side attractions we get for get some text messages then i phone them we get for go all down every corner we get for the talk up we get for the send uh, and the, the, the district PROs them waiting for the announcement the sense source the break and down to people their lineage tell exactly the important part of it make less no say they must be feel belong and the reason why we always do census on december i tell you this my brother it is because census now the only december month we hope see people they move from the the urban towns we are most of we in a job cafe in free town you understand when job no right i can easily go back home i go sit down you understand and if i don't decide for camp free town no matter holiday when meet me free town i need for move immediately as made a holiday meet me in my village because the more the population at my village the more i'm expecting more good thing and developmental issue to occur and sensors say usa we capture you not day you day so when it is holiday period like december usually we will not see it is the only month who specifies it for the do census we know forever jokuta because me if i face the reality about this census i should have been immediately to kenema because kenema i'm home I could go sit down there and I stand by. So when I can't continue, because the more the additional one at Kenema, they lift up more population by counting. Because when Kenema get more population, I expect more developmental issue for portraying at Kenema. Because you know, go give who say chance who say fifty people in there, you go give like fifty bag of rice. You understand? Mm -hmm. Then you don't left that side. Immediately, we said 10 people in there, you go give them 50 bag of rice. Then we said 50 people in there, you go give them back, uh, 10, 10 bag of rice. What do you do? Now, biasness. Mm -hmm. You don't do that. Day. You always they portray development where you, you expect population. You understand? Most mm -hmm. of the time, when you see we build, most of the time, when you see them build school at the middle of the road, not of nothing, not because of the, the village at that point, the population there is equivalent to the population at the left point. You understand? The population yeah. at the right point is equivalent to the population at the left point. That they tell you, the government get the right for pin that school at the center point. So when all they move from one point or one axis to another. So if the population there at the left point is more bigger than the right point, so it means the school is going to be built at the right point because now there's the population there. So these are things where very, very technical. Who not for play with in this country? Absolutely. It's very, very, very technical. Absolutely, brother. So, um, um, just a quick one on this as well, based on waiting the on go regarding the census counting, because it appears like say some people have been forced counted, and from your understanding really about the census, it's like um such action can get a negative view. Is that true? And yes, if it's yes. true, can you explain to we what it make um it can get negative value towards the process? All right, um, um, generally, when the census was introduced 2002, then talk and plainly see every Sierra Leonean had the right to make them count them. Everybody failed to be counted, it means they're not ready for development in this country. That is clear, you understand? So that is the reason why they passed that verdict the parliament. Say. Everybody has the right to be counted. If you fail to be counted, now the right to make government owe you to ransom. That one I understood when the instrument is laid down straight. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. But we get a survey language we see. Now you write for consent the individual. That is to see, you get for seek the individual and consent. Example, me and Mr. Burry, I come up from social, social uh, office, statistics Sierra I come for can count you. And the issue where I come for can do this counting, now based on Sierra Leone development, if I can continue, it gets a lot of impact for the creates in your life. It gets some educational system. We begin where the one go school. Now from the government, they able to use these measures. Even this way, they happy. Now from this point, from that point, if you able to convince the individual, immediately you the ask them. With all which I explain, you satisfy. Then you can tell you say, ah, oh, my brother, I don't even understand nothing. Now you write for recap. If you say you not satisfy at all, not you not there in place, you get a right for convince them. That is why you as an enumerator, when you meet your respondent, 
you always get forget a smiling face. You must get for appear in a very decent form. Where of course the person is go willing and say, oh yes, this man is here for me. You understand? You always get for put yourself in that person's shoe for for acceptance. Yes, you are of the same category. So tomorrow, you know, go there, go begin. Uh, but look the way this man is, and I mean, we go meet her. No, 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 no. The census not give priority to that. It is a right for you to calm down, for you to quell in that situation, for you to talk to the individual. But if the individual refuse, say no, you know, for come to me, become a party, don't say you know, for come to me. Like, seriously, I don't see I'm necessary on that demon fit say they should use violence. Because when you use violence, how will you get information from that individual? <laughs> More be real. And I talk again for talk. If you can't say me, man, my interview, I say no, I don't, I don't meet up. You give me slap. What do you expect? I need to map the I run. They when I run, my brother, you know, they get no information from me again. So it means not to me losses. Now you losses because now you need information from me. You understand? And there are some people, then they take and say, I don't care about government development. I care about myself. You understand? Some people. So we need for the brain, we need for talk to them. We need for clean and brain them. We need for tell them the importance of it. We need for really sensitize them, make them know say, it is a value tool and for the health of this nation. So it is generally clear that nobody has the right to force anybody. Mm. Now, Kajo, you get for Kajola. Because we get the time inside, they say, you get for Kajola. Kajola really? make you give you response. But so you don't that get right they, That time they exist inside on our vocabulary, that you have to exactly. Kajol. Exactly, Kajol. Yes, really? it did. It did, they. They say, you for Kajola. You for Kajol, the respondent. Because you need a lot of information from them. And that is the reason why we call what we call probing. Because if the person don't give you information where you're not still satisfied, now you write for acts and more, for make you go in depth, make you explain thoroughly. So he said, we're able to say, okay, yes, this person, you don't give me what I want. You understand? Mm -hmm. He gave for Kajolan, I bet you Bella. He gave for Bella. Because he gave some man they meet, but they have very this gone to. Man, they will go meet for go ask questions. They know it for the rest of the morning. <laughs> they go meet and say, I need, I want me to talk to me, man. And so man, he always says, my brother, no, I don't meet up. They yeah. that, this is the salon business. <laughs> you want to go by Eh, where you finally? You don't get the problem. You understand? So we oh, should oh, deviate man. from it. Let's implement the strategy of Kajol method. Let's talk to them. Let the yeah. government go back to the drawing board. Bring people together. Tell them the importance of it. You know, I had my one point, like uh, I saw a video of uh, this guy, the, the, the Minister of Education, right? Yeah. Yeah. Senge, you understand? Yeah. I see one video where, of course, they do, they try to tell the importance of this census based on your own category of education. Yeah. I actually admire it because if it truly, the, everything but the census process was directed, believe it, that man me for me at the Gian Award because he did a very good video where I admire and I say, oh, yes. Oh, it yeah, he's one, of the, he's one of the few ministers who is doing well, although in focus and strength now on digitalization. Yeah. And we forget about curriculum and other effects yeah. that we talk yeah. about um, yes. free and quality education structures are not available. But he's he is he's, he's trying. Let's let's be honest. Yes, um, you see, I admire that. Yeah. Um Tyrese Mark, O APC station. I don't know what you mean by that, um, um Tyrese. Um, but sometimes we do understand this deluded um, um, social construct <laughs> that because you oppose the other, so you belong to the other. We don't, exactly. do, we don't do that here. They don't so think if you for praise the other, we they don't. Think political fact, the man who we get now is talking about census. That's what he's talking about. Do you have a problem with the message? That's the conversation that we want to have. Why yeah. don't we lift our conversation to a collegial or university level? Exactly. Tete tete, jaw jaw. Instead of mm. the cheap, you know, yeah, in Wendu, they have all like for forecast. Come on, man. Anyway, we we'll talk to none other but um, um, a statistics Sierra Leone um, expert, Mr. Um, um, Amadou Bori. And so far, he's wowed, he's wowed me. And I'm not in doubt at all that it's not equally wow. Una. We come towards the end of the program. We'll get a few questions for him. And this is one of it, yeah? Mm -hmm. So I want to ask about possibilities in this sense. Because when it comes to a population census, it's about the numbers, the landmass under the cover, and the occupants then. So reports the majority of the estimated population from the cartographic mapping, it double in the Southeast. Because normally me understanding, for there for be movement of people, it has to be initiated by economic activities, if you know what I mean, sir. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. 
So if there point. were no initial economic activity for initiates or movement where, where people are going to go, go capture, why people are moving there? But the question here is, in the Southeast, and they say the number doubled in just six years. Is that a possibility? Will you break that down for me, please? Well, um, generally, like, just like we see exactly, see, whenever we expect the population, we expect them um, by the economic value if you see they go to that particular district. You understand? It yeah. happens exactly when we did 2015 census. Generally, before and on to this level, mm. the North has been populated than the Southeast before this time. Then they clear. Let them go and look the archive of all those that conducted censuses in Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. Make them watch them. Then we will not see, yes, the North has been populated since then, before this time. We don't have a problem if Southeast populated. I will be the, the first happiest somebody because yeah. I'm from there. Me not Ken my man. You understand? I will be yeah. very, very glad. You understand? Because that's my district. But the reason why this district populated now, when we get an economic impact the way they portray in that district. Yeah. 2015 census, when you look at the London mining and all these companies, the stays at Port Loco, you know, and all the other districts, them, we see yeah. another note. You understand? And yeah. that alone, the eager we, even me, I moved immediately. I go first, not the note. Not the first, I go search for job. If it happened. All of my brothers that move from the southeast, we go search for job because now they yeah. just put it. You understand? A human and nature. census, that is it. And census is about where you are, is where they should capture you. It is obvious. You understand? Yeah. Only that when I understand the statistical point of view, see, now it is now reality for more could come to census. I move immediately, but all when I mean I be a very technical man, I move immediately to my own district. Now they are left, then come to me. You understand? Say, <laughs> now they are for day. And yeah. now we write for even give transport to people. Then. For many go to the for many come to them. I think those are the things we, we should be expecting our politicians to be doing. When it comes to national census, now they write for pay for them people then, for going to the district, then for many come to them. You understand? So that is openly clear. But if we get an information as they did for the cartographic mapping, I don't know where exactly they, 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 they get that particular that information for, or yeah. that data for able to lift up the Southeast to certain level. I just, me, I just doubt. Yeah, but in, your play, in your experience, in your experience, I, I, I get you that you are in doubt. And that also they inform based on your experience. But it's a, just a direct them. question. Not How can cook. the projection of the population, you know, double more than 100, about 100%. <laughs> 100% <laughs> in just six years. I mean, this is how you send me your experience. Do you think that this is a possibility? No, 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 no pos it's not possible. But until then, guess they get the, the definition when they use they say, a digitalized system. Because a digitalized system, if you mistake, you put, we you write seven, you write 17. Maybe <laughs> something like that. <laughs> so I mean, that's why I don't want to tell us, you know, it's not possible anyway. It's not actually possible. Like when you look at um, most 1963, right? When we yeah. expect 1996, when we expect the beta one of this country, obviously we see exactly the serious death that will call, move from that end to year 2000. We expect the, the civil war, everything come down, peace begin portray. What do you think? The population we are actually less at the moment. People exactly when we begin experience peace in this nation, people decide for begin come back small, small. So when you watch at the population range from 2004, we of course we get 4 million, you understand? 4 million plus. Then 10 years added to it, when a 2015 census as we did from 2004, which should have been happening at 2014, but because of the Ebola, we push on to 2015, immediately, Checo, that don't so say, it is possible for 3 million people to be added because we get a lot of people who move from one destination to another. And yeah. when we do 2004 census in this country, obviously, we will get some refugee people there. People that move from Sierra Leone and go stay Guinea. People that move from Sierra Leone and go stay Liberia. People that move from Sierra Leone and go stay out there. 
But when we can get total peace in this country, a disarmament occur, everything stable, government begin bring some changes, work them begin available, what do you expect? Unless returnees. people get for come back. Yeah. And when the, the returnees they will call, you get for see exactly high battery rate they will call, people then get for born, people then get for things for build structures and all the rest. My brother, people that are living at, uh, uh, overseas right now, if they come to Sierra Leone, believe me, the manner in which they live Sierra Leone, even within one year, there must be changes within their environment. It is sure. So they you don't leave Kota. But when you don't come home, just one year, you don't come. You don't meet Kota. That shows that the population growth of Sierra Leone should never be reduced. It never be reduced. Okay. And when you want the margin from 4 million plus to 3 million added, it is possible within the range of 10 years. It is possible. But we don't know exactly where exactly these guys get problem with the 2015 census, which exactly was conducted by the present man who, ex we, who, who, who uh, conducted by him, when and Bob Johnny, where they conduct this particular census now. If it was a true census when they conduct, believe it, I would not advise the presidency, Mr. President, that particular man. I know hate him. I know hate him. But if they talk about things don't boil, we not be expected 2015 census as well they come out. Statistics do this, statistics do that. Other directors were sacked. You understand? And yeah. this man, Andrew Bob Johnny and Kane, who was exactly the admin and human resource at the same time at Statistics Value, they were in charge of these census processes. Why exactly they were not sacked? They, were, they are still there, and they are in charge of this particular census 2021. No hard feelings, but more look at the yastic, more talk Sierra Leone, more talk for people them. If it is not happening, I don't sack party A, people them. Also, these people should not be kept. If one try to prevail the reality, you know, me, I don't get a problem. More. I'm very, very cool and convenient to say I might get a job one day. And job is about give and take. Once yeah. you don't quiet, so I get me a career. It's you know, there, yeah. <laughs> so do you have <laughs> that margin? No, that margin, a very big margin. It's not possible. Yeah. My job um, is not possible, my brother. Um, I got one or two questions for you, then we'll just wrap up this program. And um, oh. two of them are analysis. I want to play you one video and I want to let you give Fabulem your perspective, um, stroke opinion on this video here. Yeah. Uh, right. we play them. Okay, they tell me that it's unsupported. It's so unfortunate. This was a serious video. I'll be one for let you analyze for we. Unfortunately, it's not supported on this um, 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 instrument we they use, unfortunately, which is a bit strange. It's a bit strange. Let me just try one more time and see whether it will play. Uh, let's see whether it will play. Open with. No, I don't think it's going to play. I can talk about them um, briefly. Um, just give them one more try if it doesn't. You know, yeah, then I'll talk about them briefly and I shall see you have an idea. Um, and uh, about went crazy they talk a lot just talk about that quickly if it's for play you know back in 2015 when they began the presidential debate um including candidate um julius madabio now the current president is excellency julius madabio on that stage day i think with five or six other um presidential aspirants them he used the 2015 data for making case right now that stage day be it education and other <laughs> forms of development we're supposed to go to other parts of the country. It was all based on the 2015 data. Away from that, there's also another video in which he praised the former president. He praised the former president, say he was successful in many respects. So for say the date, I mean the census was a good one, and he used the data from there for informant for plans the way he gets. <clears throat> but then what do they see now in 2021? Would they hear about faults? Two things. Have you ever been told what the faults are? Because you've been participating in the 2015 um, <clears throat> census. Day. Have you ever been told by the current administration waiting at the fault, whether there are faults and waiting at them faults there, where they make them instead, like you say, a review, then they commission an entire exercise called the midterm census. Do you agree with candidate Bio then? Do you agree with him now? <laughs> well, I agree with the president then for mm -hmm. actually, tell we say the 2015 census 
but begin involve certain things than within. I actually agree with 100%. But at present, I just want to see, I don't get doubt in the president. The reason being, like seriously, the president has never worked with statistics review. In a mandate, it they give people them. You understand? Say, I yeah. want this to be done. But statistics review, as a technical institutions, they give they give up that. Uh, and then they explain exactly to the president the technicality of census, how it they go like. You understand? Now then write for you explain to the presidency. Now so now so now so we want to make things happen. Generally, I listen to the president's speech about the reason why, of course, they want the midterm census for making it happen. The key reasons why it's state is not because of the type three EAs we are actually not captured in the manner in which they want it. But type three EAs, I just want to make them very simple. See, we get three categories of EAs, right? We get type one EA, type one EA, the days with urban towns that are segmented into different areas, right? Urban towns, when are big towns then? The type two EAs, they talk about a, 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 a village, of course, that is above the expectations of the, 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 the counting process on the mapping process that we are doing. You understand? For mm -hmm. example, in a village in Alago, they don't pass the actual number, the population, they big, but to the expect that particular village, it was a big town, we they cut that area into three, four, five EAs. You understand? But the yeah. type three EAs is where we get a blended villages. For example, we go to one village, we meet like four or five hosts daily. But not to the host to be particular. Inside our four or five hosts, we get like what we call household. So then inside the first house, we go there and two people that will meet the wedding, they feed by themselves. The second house will meet two. The third house will meet three. If we level count and not reach the number of 80, we they go to the next village. We will go count back. If we don't reach the number of 80, we they go to the next village. We will let her go until we get the number of 80. So then we will let her go there. We deal with like four villages. Then four villages now called type three E's. You understand? I make up one EA. So if I want to send you now exactly, for go do enumeration, for go do count in that area, I'm, I'm not going to take that EA from, from various sections. No. Now one section, all they arrive. That one sections, you for make sure see, you move from one village to another. And most times, these are distance areas. It is possible, you understand? So but if they talk, say, things then like that, yeah, villages, we are left out doing those processes. But I really get a challenge to her. I really want to tell Mr. President, see, make it go and ask Andrew Bob Johnny. He was, he was the director of census. He did the cartographic mapping processes. We be there under an asset too. We now we use nobody they use. Then they tell we say we na go so. Then they tell we say we na cancel. As a professional, if he no say this information was not correct, what would they expect them to do? They write right to make him resign. Are they left on a job on a ticker? This na country force, not a political party. You understand? It is open. The APC by then cannot force anybody to do the right thing or either the wrong thing. If you know you are a professional and the things they have forced you to do as, as, a, as a head of state, you know it's not correct, you can easily resign to protect your, your country <laughs> and to protect your self-esteem. That's a, that's a tall, that's a tall yes. order, Mr. Bori. You can easily resign. It's not as easy as you put it. Uh, exactly. <laughs> not at you know, all. You can um, simply say, I don't want this job again. I can left because we don't go on the challenges. Then they, but this man has been there. Even the bandit delimitation, he did it. We serve as technical uh, team to neck, and we were at neck. Now we go do a uh, we'll serve as technical team there for make the able design the boundary delimitation. And then get for explain exactly the necessity. And neck now no more go able to explain exactly why they divided this. Uh, why they, they, they bring up these two districts, Karine and Falaba. Now neck can able to explain that particular side. You understand? I not go even give me own view to anything because now neck then get that, that their own quality. But this same data, 2015 census, now in our president now, Julius Madabu, now he used for winning the election. Because we all know say they say the man, the man win the, the election by vote. So and when president win election by vote, what do you expect? It's by the population. No, so so we all know that. The, and in this same census again, the president quota, I listened to that video. He said the 2015 census, I've used it exactly to what? To segment it, to know exactly 
who are these students that are uh, PPs that are attending government school and private school? And he already know. You know, go take yeah, obviously, talk about numbers of the team there. Umar yes. at the time asked him how he go appropriate funds for them two million, and at least he knew that Fine. they were two million. Yes, and because of that get, census data. Exactly, statistics get all these guys. You understand when you go to statistics now, so they tell you, then they give you exactly the numbers of structures at region, at district, at chiefdom, at section level. Then they give you everything. They know all the number of houses the way it is in the, the, the saloon. Okay. You understand? Now they write for make them give you this. How many people are using electricity? How many people are not using electricity? Then they tell you. How many people are not working? How many people are working? Then they tell you. How many people are mentally ill? Then they tell you. So this is get a lot of capturing areas. They okay. get a lot of things for do body census. Okay. You mentioned a name earlier. Also, I want to mention another name. Um, if you can just um, talk about them briefly, if you decide to, if you decide not to, we can forget about that. And then the name Malam O. You know the name Malam O, don't you? <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, Professor. He, uh, Professor Malam O. <laughs> the, the, the Bongolistic, yes. <laughs> the Bongolistic <laughs> Professor. <laughs> give, give, me, give me a brief sentiment, you know, yeah, about um, Malam O. What are your thoughts about Malam O? Because he's yes, quite I a big man of statistics here alone as well. And I'm responsible for I understand what he's going so. Yes, yes, yes. Of, of course, we all know he's a professor. <laughs> a professor is just a professor. So we all know that. But actually, statistics value, whenever they want to choose an SG, when are the statistician general, should be directly choose by the president of the country. You understand? But yes. this man was, they, 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 they bring up uh, the statistics value uh, during the APC regime. You understand? The then government, and it's by Kuma. Now I met this appointment of statistics Sierra Leone. You understand? And when this man comes statistics, he not take over office until when the president, Julius Madabiu, took office, out of office. Now that term, Malamusef took office the same day. You understand? Wow. So April, yeah. he took over. When this man come, obviously, we actually be they get to Romans. How they, they can't sack, they can't sack Kuna, they can't pull Kuna. This, that, now I go cook data then, I want this. You know, then complain to me a lot. But by all that, Mala O oh, as a professor, he actually give you a very big praise. It's a gentleman. He said, I'm not going to be here and then allow it to be happen. You understand? It is yeah. not possible as a professor like me to sign in, you know, on people's letter just like that to make them sack people then at this school. It's another do -am. You understand? It's another work in then kind of mandate then day. Easily he gets money, he gets all what it takes. So this man really build with hope. At the end of the day, he just become hopeless to we, in the sense, he build with hope, they become hopeless. You understand? Okay. Because okay. man then really not there in a better better mood right now. For more than sack certain men them of we, man then just disarray, a lot of things them poil. You know what I mean? For make a professor sign in, let, sign for people then letter, they're about 244. You understand? You know what okay. I mean? Of it course. very, very oh. appalling. People of very disappointed up to now that not thousands of Sierra Leoneans that they don't lay down quietly. Of course, and affect you know, for thousands of people so, as well. I really be the expect professor, if you don't, if you don't come as a helping hand to we, no matter what it happen, based on in technocrats, based on in, in technicality, based on in professor, if we don't use that method, as oh no, Mr. President, because like seriously, the president of this country, he gets a very high respect and a man where people really get high respect for. If that man be saying, no, I'm not going to take this particular charge to terminate service of people. No, no, no. Immediately, the government will not say, yes, 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 this man, which you don't know because I believe in her. No, man, not take this chance. You understand? I cannot say that the president sack. No, 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 because I'm not saying the, you okay. understand? But all I know, Malam Usman Sanko, that they signed by will let us them. Then, and then, then the, the present chairman, Mr. Willie, that they signed by will let us, they say, we for be sacked. But I can, put a, I can put it this way. Una sacking have been high profile sacking because yeah, the numbers have been too great. The newspapers, exactly. the area, the cover that story. Pala. They, yes, we are that story in the so it's not impossible for the president not only hear that kind of talk. They say 200 and some more, 241 of his citizens them have been fired simultaneously. They give exactly. them sacking letter. Exactly. Yeah, that, was, um, that was a sad, that was a very sad day. A very, very um, sad. Um, my final question, my final question to you, I don't know whether you see my background, 
and um, this number of speculations and rumors and what have you regarding this population census. Yeah, I see the map. This is not the old map of, 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 of Sierra Leone. Okay, thank you very much. So they say this map, as I understand, get something for do with this new census where they want to come out and create new chiefdoms and other areas, then populate them with numbers, then we go favor them going forward in a general election. But these are circumstances, like when they talk about um, um, the chiefdom, then we then are Kono, Bane, and, and Gorama, where you go be very familiar with, you don't waka waka and all them bush the day. And then you get other chiefdom then from Kailan and some from Kenema, out of way they want to create Panguma district. And I can go on and on. Roneta district is going to be carved from Tonkolili, especially Yoni <clears throat> chiefdom, and some chiefdom in Moyamba and Western rural. So looking at this map and waiting, I just say, or waiting you understand Dongbe, provide a little brief for we because I also want to end the program. Yeah, and um, this map particularly, I just want to say the regime when this map come, we only be get like five districts where they exist. Just five. As we see, we see Karine, Kwenadugu, you understand? We just we get yeah. like five districts. Yeah. Exactly. But now we get an improve from 12 districts. We get an improve to 14 districts. We get an improve to 16 districts, right? Yeah. But uh, I just want to tell Sierra Leoneans and the public out there, make them understand one thing. You know, we don't want statistics Sierra Leone and exactly for making them create any economic burden again in this country. Because you know what it means? For making it create more districts, it creates more economic burden to portfolio in this country. You understand? Yes. It affects it generally. And we cannot determine district based on the landscape. I want to avoid this totally entirely. We can never be determined district based on the landscape. You understand? If you say they follow the way you treat the town lot, then I show you the bill. Believe it, you know they get side for parking motor car. <laughs> it will be very, very difficult. That's a nice so we are expecting, fine. So we are expecting when you create a district, it is a right for make government take all opportunities, facilities to that particular district. You understand? And if you're not up in that way, it means it will create a serious economic challenge in the country. Because those people where you don't go carve a district for now, they say go one member of parliament. They said go one councillor. Then go want PCMPs when a parliament chief tenses. They said go want other prominent ministries to be there. Then go want hospitals. Then go want all other facilities. Not to that, if they meet the requirement in terms of population, there yeah, is no problem. Who that they will not want me saloon grow? I don't see that. Spasso, what's the way get rich or you're not get beloved, you're not get love for this country. But we should not be even thinking about it. For make we allow another new district to be carved. Now make I say, I don't know their elastic measures, where they use, or which yard measures they use for able to create a district at those particular sites. Because generally, totally, entirely, when we do 2015 census, those areas we are actually and totally empty. People we are not found at that particular location. When you go to Kenema district, the highest highway there is a Kenema, Kenema. Now inside Kenema town, when I don't go out, now they expected there are more people. The mining areas, we are just down. We know they expect people at those areas because these are areas where if you see they move, if they mining them, then inside them, you they expect people then for moving at those areas. When you go to Pujon, when you go to Bont, the only highway they make name na Bont, na Matrujon, all the other areas are not over, are not, are not populated areas. You understand? When you go to Kenemana, only Nungowa, you understand? When you go to Kailan, you only heard about and uh, Pendebu, you heard about them um, and um, Shekbema, you understand? All these areas, now few areas, inside Luawa of itself, Luawa is not a populated place. This is obvious, you understand? Same goes to the north. We are certain areas in the, any guy you watch at them, they are not crowded. So you cannot create these areas to be a district on them. On, on, on their own. It's not possible. When you do that, you don't cause economic challenge in this country. You don't cause the government in portfolio for enlarge in the manner in which you need the expector. That is the reason why the government said they find it very difficult to even make move from all these districts from one point to another. It causes a lot of challenge because people will say, me then just can't create this street no more, waiting at the facility where they get now. So it means the person get for the move. What do you make some of women move try they will come out Kenema or come future? Never can get a job. Never can find a job. You know, you see exactly the southeast, 
Everybody is moving now. For say one can find education at Freetown. Why? Because the Frobe College, what we all know, the Frobe College, it only meant na Freetown. But if you then can't go to the branch exactly in the east, what do you expect? Me go left Kaila and say I want to Freetown here. No, I don't get for left hand I do me college day. Because now they same Frobe College no more. You understand? So please, I'm actually advising. If they take this approach, it get for become very challenging for we. I don't know okay. what are the resources of the government. I don't know. Maybe there are more opportunities. Or they want everybody to feel actually is. If they continue with it, well, it could be very hindered to this country development and it will affect the nation at large for the future. Okay. Okay. Um, it will hinder this country, the development of this country, and um, it will affect this country in the future. What a yeah. word of advice um, from um, Mr. Bori, who has been absolutely, absolutely excellent. And we appreciate you. We will send the feedback to them when um, necessary and a clip of the tape and try for break and down for we Sierra Leone audience. But ladies and gentlemen, once again, we'll not forget for shape this video. People in need for a clue on into what is being said. This is not about party politics. This is about census. It's a kind of a science. We don't they go on. And practically, it don't happen, I think, um, 2000, with a young man familiar with. But um, the 2021, it has so many questions. And when you question them, um, the useful idiots, they want to question you as well, even though the stats are there for let we look into them. That in the man break down for whistle because I'm not a statistic person. I don't work for statistics here alone. Me not to census person. Now he make a bring this particular man for can explain to me. And from what he explain to me, so myself now eye opener for me. And at least I don't follow, so I'm able to capture some of the technical terms. And if I exactly. see on a, a conversation, I go able for every one or two languages where they go to talk day without being lost altogether. <laughs> I want to say thank you very, very much, my brother. And I will be in yeah. touch with you again soon. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll not forget to not tune in again tomorrow. Me and Victor Akomengot, a specialist and expert in parliamentary affairs, both in the UK and Sierra Leone. We get for talk about fiscal year auditor report uh, um, 2020 stroke 2021 in length, in depth discussion. It will be fascinating. For now, me now on a host and presenter, Prince Emil Koma. I tell you, thank you for tuning in. And I want to say once more, thank you to the guest. He's been exceptional. And I enjoy every bit of this interview. Thank you so much, brother. And God bless you. Thank you, Mr. Prince. You're Most welcome. welcome. Thank you. I'm left now with Geneva. Okay, I see the people in the wind down, which is exactly why I play the music. So I'm not just left up over 100 people and just close the platform. So please wind down, wind down, please wind down. The program has come to an end. I'm just closing now. Thank you very much for your understanding.
<laughs> well, the number still is from to 6769. Anyway, we have to go. Thank you very much, 69 people then. I have to leave. Other than that, other people then go to join. So good night and thank you so much. Tune in tomorrow, same station, same time. Don't touch that dial. It's going to be explosive. It's going to be real, authentic and in-depth analysis of the fiscal year 2021-2020 Auditor General reports. Good night. <laughs>